So you need the power of God. He said, but the oil power, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, said, it will teach you all things. It will teach you how to manage your life. It will teach you how to prevail in destiny. It will teach you how to be better than your teacher. It will teach you on what to do so that you don't repeat evil patterns of your parents. It will teach you to rise in destiny. Now, it's the one that gives ideas of what you need to do. It's the one speaking to you, you can start this business. Holy Spirit will tell you that. But for you to be able to get the business done, you need the power of God to back it up. There are many people that have ideas. They come from the Holy Spirit. Joseph, this is what I want you to do. It will let you know. Joseph, there is a way here. Holy Spirit will tell you. It's there to teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that God has said concerning you. That you are not just ordinary. It will bring to your remembrance when devil tells you that you can't make it. God will bring to your remembrance. Holy Spirit bring to your remembrance. No, you are created in God's image. When devil wants to tell you that it's only fear in your future, the Holy Spirit will tell you, no, I have gone ahead of you to make every crooked way, to break in pieces the gate of brass and cut us under the gate. When devil comes to hold you down, Holy Spirit will tell you, he that is in you is greater than him that is in the world. Holy Spirit will remind you all those things. Holy Spirit is the enforcer of God's plan over your life. God has a better plan for you. So let us make man in our own image so that they can have dominion. You are created for dominion. The only language the enemy understands is dominion. But dominion becomes theoretical when you don't have the power of God in you. 